Part two of WPSD's Local 6 Legal Line, once again with Mark Bryant and Kevin Shannon of the Bryant Law Center in Paducah, taking your personal injury questions at one 208 6946 We have an anonymous viewer who says, I got bitten by my neighbor's dog, and now the neighbor is hiding the dog. I had to have 30 stitches in my hand. Is there anything I can do? I imagine you get this once in a while, don't you, Kevin? Yeah, we'll get... Uh, calls from time to time on dog bite cases. I mean, uh, you know, dog's man's best friend, but uh, uh, the dog will bite people from time to time. Uh, as far as this goes, the, the first thing that I would suggest, if you haven't already done so, is to uh, call the local uh, animal warden, uh, animal control officer. Most cities and counties will have such a person. Uh, you, you, they might also refer you to the county attorney's office depending upon the type of dog that's involved and whether the dogs uh, had any other run-ins, so to speak, uh, the county attorney's office might get involved. In terms of uh, your medical bills, uh, I don't know that there's anything you can do immediately, but the one thing that you would want to look into as far as a legal claim uh, would be having your uh, neighbor uh, uh, pay the bills either personally or hopefully out of homeowners insurance coverage that they might have so uh, that can uh, that can frequently be a difficult thing to try to figure out if the uh, neighbors not being cooperative but uh, if you'd like to talk about it feel free to give us a call at the office we have a question from Jonathan who says, I'm not happy with the attorney that's handling my personal injury case. Can I switch attorneys? What do you think, Mark? Uh, yes, you certainly can, Jonathan. And uh, if you're not getting any satisfaction out of your lawyer, we hear that a lot. I mean, you know, people get, uh, they can't get their lawyers to return their phone calls and they get upset about that or the lawyer is really not working on their case. And yes, that does happen, and that's your case, and all you have to do is send a letter to, uh, or a, an email to your lawyer and tell them you don't want them to be your lawyer any longer, and then uh, get another lawyer. And uh, yeah, that, that happens uh, pretty frequently. We have a question from Brenda who says, I hear that people who use and hire attorneys when they have a personal injury and or car accident get larger settlements by hiring an attorney as opposed to handling it themselves. Is that true? Think it, Kevin. Well, uh, you know, I, I'd like to think that the lawyers uh, are able to uh, maximize the recovery, and so I think uh, frequently, probably not in every case, uh, but frequently the lawyer is going to uh, be able to obtain a better result for the uh, client than the client could get for his or herself uh, acting alone. Uh, one thing you know for sure, the insurance company, as soon as you have a claim, they have professionals uh, working on their behalf. Uh, they're not working for you. So if you hire a lawyer, your lawyer works for you. And uh, the sooner you get a lawyer involved, I think the better off you are. And I do think that uh, the, la the lawyer's able to uh, make the case better for you in the end. Well, Mark Bryant, Kevin Shannon of the Bryant Law Center, our guest today on this edition of Local 6 Legal Line. If you would like to review either one of these segments, we'll have them up a little bit later on under the Legal Line icon at WPSDLocal6.com. We'll have a wrap of midday right after this.